Well, good Saturday morning to you folks. Hopefully you're doing well. I'm looking forward to facing the day here. Uh, I have some scripture from the book of John. Chapter 9, the book of John. Chapter 9 of John, you find the story of the blind man that Jesus heals. This man was blind from birth. The disciples said, Lord, who did sin? This man, or was it his parents? Uh, Jesus said, neither hath this man sinned nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. And so we know the scripture says that Jesus comes to him and uh, he uh, stoops down onto the ground. He uh, makes some clay of spittle. He anoints his eyes and he tells him to go wash in the pool of Siloam. The scripture says that the man goes to wash and he, be, and he begins to receive his sight. And then this is where the trouble starts. The Pharisees begin to question uh, who is this man has the ability to do this. Uh, we know he's a sinner. God does not hear the prayers of sinners. And so uh, they are furious at Jesus. The scripture says that there begins this long process uh, back and forth with this man, uh, with this man's parents, uh, anybody that knew him asking, is this the man that was sitting by the wayside that was blind? And some, even his parents said, he's of age, ask him. <clears throat> and if you remember in the story, finally, when it comes back uh, to it, and this is just common sense. I mean, um, and you would think even in their day it would have been, but they were so dead set against Jesus and so distraught that he had performed miracles and even in their day performed this miracle right there in their time for them to see. They believed that if these people saw these miracles, they would start believing Jesus was who he claimed to be. And so here they are, they're highly frustrated. And so they come again, they bring the parents. The parents answered and said, we know this is our son. Uh, we know he was born blind. By what means he now seeth, we know not. Or who hath opened his eyes, we know not. He is of age, ask him. He shall speak for himself. And verse 22, and these words spake his parents because they feared the Jews. For the Jews had agreed already that if any man did confess that he was Christ, he should be put to death, or be put out of the synagogue, rather, and therefore said his parents, he is of age, ask him. Then again called they the man that was blind, and said unto him, Give God the praise. We know that this man is a sinner. <laughs> this fellow, listen to what he says, he just stops him. He answered and said whether he be a sinner or no. I know not. One thing I know, that whereas I was blind, now I see. Folks, if you have ever been blind, and you've had your eyes open, no matter what anybody else says around you, you now can see. You know that God is real. You don't know how he did it. You don't know why he did it. But you know he did it. And that's what this man is saying. Then said they to him again, What did he to thee? How opened he thine eyes? He answered them, I have told you already, and ye did not hear. Wherefore would you hear it again? Will ye also be his disciples? And then they reviled him and said, Thou art his disciple, but we are Moses' disciples. We know that God spake unto Moses, for as this fellow we know not from whence he is. It made them furious. Moses would have loved to see Christ in his day. These Pharisees thought they had it all. Thought they were the mouthpiece of God. Little did they know that God in the flesh was walking among them. They did not even know who he was. But for this man, what could he say? I don't know if he's a sinner. 
I don't know if God hears his prayers. I don't know what happened. All I know is I was blind. And now I see. Sounds to me like somebody touched him, right? <laughs> um, I usually, when I read that scripture, I usually think we are made from the dust of the ground. Jesus stoops down and he takes clay and he spits and he makes spittle and he puts, his on, he puts it on his eyes. And I often think to myself, it's just like putting the eyeballs in. The sockets were left empty on the day he was made and now he's just putting in the ability to see. Huh. God is good, folks. If he's touched you today, no matter what anybody else says you will know you've been touched by him shackled by a heavy burden neath the load of guilt and shame then the hand of touched me and now I am no longer the same he touched me oh he touched me and oh the joy that floods my soul Something happened, and now I know he touched me and made me whole. Since I met this blessed Savior. Since he cleansed and made me whole, I will never cease to praise him. I'll shout it while eternity rolls. He touched me, oh, he touched me, and oh, the joy that floods my soul, something happened, and now I know. And made me whole. Aren't you thankful for the touch of the Master's hand? Lord, we thank you for the day you've given us. God, I pray that you would bless today. Give the help, the strength, the guidance to those that would hear these words today encouragement, peace, safety. Lord, we love you for all you do for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, folks. Uh, maybe you'll tune in uh, tomorrow as we try to do a little for Charity Free Will Baptist, or we'll see you again here on Monday. God bless. <music>